Hey everybody, that Ohio dude, another video. We got our package from CSG Grading. I decided to send them a few cards, never used them before, and just kind of curious to what the process would be like, what it would cost, uh, what the quality would be, and all that good stuff. So, decided to give them a try. And here is the results. It came back in like, um, less than a month um, and I paid for let's see I paid for the economy service I think what did I pay for um, economy service and yeah it was about it was less than a month so these were uh, 20 bucks each to get them graded and um, I sent them what six cards and yeah, I said $25, $20 each to get them graded. Quick turnaround, so let's see what we got. Um, let's see here. We'll go like this. First card. 2021 Bowman Draft. Chrome, Marcelo Mayer. Uh, Mint 9. So we got a 9 out of that one. That's not... Not too bad. I'm obviously, hoping for a ten. The um, there's all kinds of dust on it, but the the case itself feels good. It looks good. Um, no subgrades. But yeah, oh, not too bad. I'm pretty happy with that. Um, we'll see what other grades we get. We'll decide if we're going to send any more. Next we have, yeah, I was afraid of this, that corner right there. Let's see if we can zoom in on that a little bit. That corner right there is a little bit less than perfect. But other than that, 8.5 isn't bad for this. That's about what I was expecting. This is the 2000 Skybox Dominion. Tom Brady rookie card. And, uh, he's on there with Giovanni Carmazzi. I'll let you guess who had the better career. But yeah, I found um, five of these in the basement in a box of old cards um, from kind of my second era of collecting from you know the late 90s till um, 2000, 2001. And so they were all in the basement. I was going through, and I, I found, I, like I said, I think five of these. This was the worst one. And But I, I just, out of curiosity, I wanted to see what kind of grade CSG would give me for this. And 8.5. So uh, that's about what I was expecting. Um, I'll probably send the rest to PSA if their prices ever come down. Maybe we'll send one more to CSG to just compare the two. But yeah, 8.5 for Tom Brady rookie rookie pairs. Next card. There we go. We have a 10. This is 2020 Panini Illusions Retail. Joe Burrow. Again, it's all covered with uh, cardboard dust. But yeah, let's uh, focus in a little bit better here. There we go. Gem Mint 10. Panini Illusions. Yeah. So we did actually get a 10 out of here. That's good. Card number 5. And next we have... Ah, Tiger Woods. Wipe that off there. Tiger Woods. Upper Deck. 2001 Upper Deck. Some more cards I found in the basement. I had already sent all the Tiger Woods rookie cards out of the set in years and years ago in 2001 to get them graded um, and they're long graded and long sold but I did find a stack of these Victory March and a couple other inserts so out of curiosity again send this in see what CSG would think of this card 9.5 um, I'm, I'm happy with that I kind of expected maybe a 10 but all right, 9.5, that'll work. And next we have another 10. This is a 2020 score, 
Joe Burrow. Again, this is, you know, just score. It's not any high dollar, high value card. That's why, you know, I'd never send this in for $100 to get it graded by um, PSA or uh, anything like that. So I thought this was another good card I could send in to CSG for 20 bucks, get it graded, and Gem Mint 10. Nice. Finally, last card is another Gem Mint 10. This is a 2018 score, Josh Allen. Same deal as with the uh, Joe Burrow. I wouldn't want to send this in for 100 bucks to a PSA, so see what they did with the Josh Allen, and we get a 10. Very nice. So overall, three tens on the modern cards. The modern cards are all 10, except here we have Marcel Mayer's nine. And then the, the two older cards, we've got an eight five and a nine five. So what do you think? Is it worth it? Is it worth $20 to get these graded by uh, CSG? I'm kind of thinking so. I'm, I'm, I'm happy with the results. So let's uh, I'll send in some more here shortly and we'll we'll see what kind of grades we get. I've already got some cards set aside that are kind of mid value cards that uh, don't quite warrant the PSA level price, but hey, maybe uh, maybe CSG. Uh, any other companies you think I should try? I was thinking about trying hybrid grading too, um, and I've also heard there's a company transparent grading. Um, so let me know what you think of those. Have a good one.